Ladies and gentlemen, I just released a video on my channel on how to play Lightsmith Holy Paladin and this is a follow-up video with the best records that you can use to play that Holy Paladin. Feel free to check out the full guide on my channel and feel free to check the links below if you'd like to support the content creation and now without further ado, let's get started. Starting with the basics, you need to track your holy power in a much better way compared to the default that the basic UI provides. And I'm using a Wii Core created by Alice Smears, which allows you to put the holy power tracker in the middle of the screen. It's small and simplistic, but it gets the job done just perfectly. Now this record is included into a bigger bundle that I used to upload everything at the same place and you can find the link in the description below. Feel free to grab it and keep only the weak cores that you're interested in by deleting everything that you decide that you don't need. I find it very useful to track my holy shocks, the cooldown, the stacks they have as this is one of your most important buttons. So having a big quick order to track this in the middle of your screen is quite convenient. And this one is also included into the big bundle that I mentioned earlier. I also have a similar icon that tracks my Hammer of Wrath every time it's available. But the link to this record is separate because it also has a sound effect attached to it, which could be either very helpful or very annoying depending on the situation. Thus the link is separate and you can decide whether or not to use it. Using your holy armament spell as a lightsmith paladin is extremely important and the way that I track this is on my mouse cursor. There's a small icon that shows right next to it anytime one of those two spells is available. This is the same weak core that I use on my other characters but I had to change it a little bit in order to incorporate both of the spells. And the link to that is also separate from the bundle so feel free to grab it from the description below. The bundle does include another proc that you can track with an icon and this is your divine purpose. That would be the free holy power spender that you can cast without spending any holy power. And that is a very important information to track, especially if you need to cast something and you're out of holy power but you get a proc. Another important proc to track is your infusion of light as consuming these not only benefits you but it also lowers the cooldown of your holy armaments. The Wikora in the bundle gives you a visual around your character for both of the infusion of light procs, which fade away as the timer of the proc slowly expires, so you know how much time you have to consume them before they're gone. This next Wikora shows an icon with the timer every time you have your wings active, so you need to know that you need to stop pressing your holy shock and let your judgment and crusader strike heal instead. And of course, when you need to start pressing holy shock again, once the wings duration is gone. This one is part of the bundle group. The next weak core is separate, maybe I should have included it into the bundle because it's quite important, it's tracking your awakening stacks. And once they reach 15, there is a sound effect, the icon changes and then you know that your next judgment is going to activate your wings. This of course is quite important because you don't want to overlap this with your regular Avenging Crusader skill and then you have the Avenging Crusader tracker to know that your wings are active. Now bear with me for a second here, I know that you're seeing my shaman on the screen and we're talking about paladin but how many times did you forget to activate your devotion aura in a mythic plus dungeon and you went the whole way without an aura being active? Well if you get the raid buff tracker weak aura from the links below you will never do this again. It does indeed track every buff that's available in your group or in your raid and it shows up if something is missing and that something involves devotion aura as well. Now I didn't have footage showing that my devotion aura is missing on the paladin so I'm showing you my shaman instead. But as you can see this record is very useful because it will not only show if your devotion aura is missing but let's say your mage forgot to buff you and you can see that your int is missing on it as well. It will also remind you to buff your party if you're playing a different class and you have a raid or a group wide buff so I wholeheartedly recommend it. 
and last but not least, Blasting of Summer and all the blessings that it turns into after that is something that you need to be casting on cooldown every time it's available. The weak aura reminder that I have for that is included into the bundle pack and it is a stripped down version of the original one provided by Alice Mir. Feel free to grab the more complex and more recent one which has a lot of things embedded into it but I like the more simplistic version that I have in mind. We chose an icon with the next available blessing and it also gives you an audio cue with its name. Spring. So that will be the list of weak ores that you can use as a lightsmith holy paladin in season 1 of The War Within. Let me know if I missed something and grab whatever you deem necessary from the description below. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Now get out of here.